In this lesson, let's take a look at some of the new HTML5 tags or elements that are available to use. Some of them we'll be using in our blog project, but I just wanted to give you a taste of what's available and then give you a great resource where you can learn more. The first tag I wanted to show you is the article tag. The article tag is supported by all the major browsers, Firefox, Chrome, Internet Explorer, Safari, and Opera. The article tag or element is used to define content that's specifically designed to stand on its own, such as a newspaper article or a forum post. The aside tag is one we'll actually be using in our blog project. It's supported by all the major browsers, and it's used to define content intended to stand on its own in a sidebar. The audio tag is also supported by all the major browsers, and it's used for audio content such as music or audio streams. The command tag is supported only by Safari at this time, and it's used for a command button that evokes an action, such as a form element like a checkbox or a radio button. The data list is supported only by Firefox and Opera at this time, and it's used to define a list of options. The embed tag is supported by all the major browsers, and it's used to define content that is going to be embedded within the web page, such as a plugin that's needed to display your content properly. The nav tag is used to define navigation links. It's also supported by all the major browsers, so any next or previous buttons that used to be standalone now will be inside the nav tag. And the video tag is also supported by all the major browsers. And guess what that does? It is used to signify video content, so movie clips or video streams. These are just a few examples. There are many other tags that are brand new to HTML5 and some that have been altered and some tags that no longer exist. So if you want to read more about them, this is a great resource www.w3schools.com has a great listing of all the tags that are supported in HTML5, and it highlights the ones that are brand new. It also shows what browsers they're supported in. It's a really good resource. I highly recommend you check it out. So this was just a quick introduction to some of the new tags, some of which we will actually be working with in this project, just to get your feet wet in HTML5.